an affordable meal and a place to keep warm is what Age UK are offering in centres like this. It's the elderly that are amongst the hardest hit by the rising costs of living. And this winter, Age UK have been helping older people by making sure they're accessing benefits as well as delivering food to their door and providing home energy checks. Older people are disproportionately affected by the cost of living crisis. Uh, they're on fixed incomes, um, so there isn't much flexibility for them. Um, and also, they're, a lot of them are immobile and so are affected by having uh, less access to heat and less access to um, energy and, and warm food so you know it is very concerning for us the, the the devastating effect that that's having on them and we're seeing a lot of people really really distressed and worried about it um, phone calls of uh, for help have gone up you know the doubled really in the last few months so very concerning for us the cafe at the age uk center in darlington provides a place for older people to socialize as well as stay warm and fed they're getting out of the house they're meeting people, they're getting fresh air, they're getting a reasonably priced meal, they don't have to worry that the heating's on. There's no time limit on how long they sit and they're sitting and chatting to people. So yeah, they're not worrying about eating or heating. For pensioners like Jennifer, the facilities here have been a lifeline. Custom is important to me. And I don't know what's going to end, I don't know. Uh, it's, if the price is going to go down, are they going to still, go, still rise? So I feel uncertainty about that. Yeah, having the meal here at lunchtime, I feel comfortable. I feel safe. I feel that I've been supported by the staff in the building. And for me, this com this particular age of care outlet, my house, has been my lifesaver. They give me some hope. Another day is done in the kitchen and cafe, but with prices at an all-time high, staff and volunteers are busier than ever here this winter. Anna Riley, GB News, Darlington.